Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. My name is Kay Shell, and here is where we do life with Jesus. Here is where we have fun. Here is where you may get some encouragement, a little word. Here is where we, we just got freedom. Like, and this is Zoe, my daughter. She has a little yogurt on her on her mouth. So today we're so we are in September right now. Actually, at the beginning of September. And September is a transformative month. September is the month where the ministry that I'm a part of does a, um, a challenge where we get closer, more intentional with Jesus and spending time and dating him and meeting him. Like you, you like you would date your spouse. You would date someone that you want to get to know because you know that, that they are that one. Okay. That you want to know so much about them. You want to fall deeper and deeper and deeper in love because they got so many sides to them. Yeah, that's how Jesus is. He's that one. There's so many faces to him and there's so many revelations that he gives. Like, he's bomb. So, anywho, I'm in day four of the challenge and I read my devotional and it was of um, faith, having faith, now faith. And the reading to go along with that was 1 Samuel chapter 17. And 1 Samuel chapter 17 is when David beat Goliath. While I was reading this story, I asked God to give me a revelation. More, Give me more revelation. Show me something that I didn't see before. And he did. And the angle that he had me look at even more and open my eyes to was Yes, you can go into a situation, right, where it doesn't look likely. Mm. Everybody's scared, but you have fresh eyes. You have open eyes. You have, again, you have new eyes. You see a whole different thing. They see what's on the surface and see how it can't be done, but you got something additional to you. You got something that they, they necessarily don't have. They may have it, but they don't have a deeper revelation or a deeper understanding of it. Let me knock, let me knock right quick. Hello, you there? Hello, are you there? Because I'm standing right here and I'm all the way here because <laughs> I'm here for it. So the way I began looking at this story is that you can come into a space with new eyes and pe that the whole company, say you're in a company and there's something going, uh, something going on and you see the victory in it. Like you see how the job can get accomplished and it's really not that big. But to others, they're like, okay, well, we tried this before. I mean, they got better equipment. I mean, they got the newest of the newest. It, you like, yeah, I'm listening to all that. I understand everything that you're saying, but we can beat them because they don't know we got God on our side. They don't know that they insulted. They don't know who they just came up against. They don't know who they talked about. They don't know who is fighting with me because when I come, I don't come on my own accord. I come because God sent me. I come because I got things in the back helping me when I talk about things in the back I'm talking about I got angels in the back helping me I don't do this job alone so when I go into this thing just thought we about to win all right it's not that big y'all we got this we are equipped better yet I am equipped he has sent me I'm equipped so what I loved about it is that you know they gave Saul gave David his like his armor right but ah oh, this just hit me so good just now someone can give you their revelation to something right but that revelation is old uh oh that revelation is old it's still it's good but it's not good for this thing someone can give you the tools to their preparation but your tools didn't work. I got another thing. You got all this fancy stuff. I don't need all that. Because one thing about my God is my God is he's simple, but he's complex. Meaning that you don't have to have a whole bunch of stuff with you. Just come with you and with the tools that he's given you. 
So David, he said, I, your, your weight, your armor is wearing me down. I can't, I can't work like this. <laughs> no, no disrespect. I can't work like this. So he got his sling and his, his rocks, you know, because what they didn't know is that God had been preparing David out in the field. Like he been doing this thing for a moment. This ain't, this ain't nothing new to him. Like it might be a different being. But he already done, he already done passed this before. So you got, you got these tools in your, in your belt, right? You got these tools in your toolbox, in your tool belt. And now, not only do you have the tools in your tool belt, you got that comforter, man. You got that advocate. You got that guide in you, that which is the Holy Spirit that's, that's telling you. If you just do it like this, you got it. I'm with you. So David, he got his sling and his rocks and thing hit him right in the forehead and he out. Sometimes the people who are on your team, they, they can't see what you see. And sometimes they will come up against you because of jealousy jealousy is an ugly trait jealousy is not your friend and your opponent can be talking all that big stuff too but in reality because you you up on the high tower you see something much bigger. it ain't even that serious huh. so to them it is to you you've already seen the victory so after the victory is won with that battle, Saul started inquiring about this one. Hey, you know whose son that is? So after you win your victory, right, that people thought you wasn't going to win, even though they're on the same team as you and they, they've been there, done that, right? <laughs> they're going to see you and others are going to see you too. And they're going to start inquiring of you. Hey. Whose daughter is that? Whose son is that? I'm the daughter of the mighty king. I'm the daughter of a mighty king who lives within me. And wherever my father tells me to go, I will go. And where, however he tells me to move, I move. But I got to have that faith. Hmm. Let's tie that in. Because <laughs> if you don't have the faith, it ain't going to work. 